Hi, I'm Karen and I'm here to do 45 minutes of yoga with you today. So I look forward to it. Um, this is a Skype class that I videoed. So some of the directions will look the opposite. You just need to either do what you see me doing or do what you hear me saying and you'll be nice and balanced in the end. Um, we'll work on strength, flexibility and balance um, with some flow to it. I'm gonna be using a yoga strap towards the end. So you can use a karate belt, a necktie, a uh, piece of rope, something that you have laying around the house, okay? So yoga is not about competing with anybody. This is about doing what's best for you. So I want you to just make sure and nurture yourself, uh, be kind to yourself, uh, modify when you need to, um, and let's all increase our flexibility, breathing deeply. Here we go. All right, you guys, we are gonna go ahead and get started with our yoga practice today. Um, welcome, and we are gonna start standing up today, okay? So I'm gonna ask that you come to the front of your mat, make sure you've got a yoga strap somewhere, because we'll get to the point where we're gonna use that as well. Let's bring those feet the width of the mat apart, and let's walk those fingertips down your legs, Go ahead and hold on to those elbows and just allow yourself to rock from side to side. Make sure you're going to keep that breath nice and deep in and out through your nose. Allowing that rib cage and diaphragm to expand with every inhale and deflate with every exhale and just bring all your attention to your breath and those sensations in your muscles. Let's come to the right side and just gently bring your nose towards that right knee. And then let's do a gentle twist as we reach our right arm up and glance up towards the ceiling. And let's make our way over to the left side, nose towards that knee. And then gentle twist, lifting that left arm up. Good, let's go ahead and walk those feet closer together. Let's glance up, lift the tailbone and lunge back one foot and then the other. So you're in your plank. Remember, you could be on your knees, you could be on your toes. It's totally up to you. I want you to hug your sides with your elbows as you come down. I want you to come to your up dog, lifting that head up so we're not letting our head collapse into our shoulders, lengthening from the top of your head to your tailbone. Now let's take our knees apart, big toes together, and sit back on those heels. Just allow the middle of that chest to sink towards the mat. Remembering you're not in competition with anybody. This is gonna be all what's best for you and your muscles today. Let's go ahead and tuck our toes under and come to down dog. We're gonna spread our fingertips apart. We're gonna lift our hips up. And allow the top of the head to sink towards the mat. Those feet are nice and relaxed. Feeling that rib cage and diaphragm expand on your inhale and deflate as you exhale. Big deep breaths. Let's take those right toes up to the ceiling. And let's walk our hands back a little bit. Nose towards that left knee gently. And let's go ahead and take that right leg and bring it between the feet. Make sure that right knee is right above the ankle and let's float that chest up. Tuck the pelvis under to get that good left hip flexor stretch. And let's look past our fingertips and swing through. Inhale up. Exhale, that left foot's gonna go back just a little bit. Let's lower the left knee towards the mat and gently lean back. Bringing those hands to your low back, chin to your chest. We're gonna gently pull those arms straight. 
And let's rotate, look over your right shoulder and extend both arms, shoulder height best you can. Your left arm is in front. Both arms up, we're gonna gently lean it back. Good, now we're gonna put that left knee down towards the mat. Just rest it on the mat, hands on your right thigh. Let's take that left quadricep, sink forward, straighten your arms and gently press your shoulder blades down. Big breaths. Keeping that hip flexor sinking forward, take those arms up and gently lean back. Good, let's place those palms down. And let's take our right knee to the mat. And nice cat stretch. Glancing up to the ceiling. Good, let's, with the right wrist directly under the shoulder, let's take that right leg out behind you. Left arm out for spinal balancing, abs are engaged. We're gonna take that left arm out to the left. We're gonna flex your right foot and take the right leg even just slightly out to the right without shrugging your shoulders. Using the right side of those obliques. Slowly bring it back down the middle, reach nice and long. Let's place the hand and foot down and press that right heel towards the mat for a good right calf stretch. Big breaths in and out through your nose. Good, let's place that knee down. Let's sit our hips to the right and bring your right hand on top of the left. As you exhale, let's untwist. Let's come up to your knees. Just do a little range of motion for that right shoulder. So your right, um, excuse me, your right thumb leads as you bring that right arm up. Flip it around and your left pink, I'm sorry, that right pinky is gonna lead as you bring it back. And then your pinky is gonna lead, bringing it as far up as you can. Flip it around and the thumb leads the rest of the way. Let's do that one more time. So that right thumb is gonna lead to bring it up to shoulder height. Flip it around and let that right pinky lead as you reach as far back as you can. Let's let the right pinky lead to bring it up as high as it'll go. And then flip it around and the thumb leads the rest of the way. Great thing to do if you've had some range of motion issues with your shoulder. Let's go ahead and come to your plank. Lift that belly button up, hug your sides, come on down. Come to up dog, nice open chest. Now feel free to do a push up this time if you want to, you don't have to, then down dog. Fingertips spread apart, hips are lifting, and the top of your head is gently sinking down towards the mat. Connect to your breath. Feeling the rib cage and diaphragm expand and contract. On your exhale, let's walk or softly jump those feet to your hands. Fingertips on the ground, chin in your chest. Let's take those right toes up to the ceiling. Let's walk our hands back, nose towards that left knee, right toes reach. An option is your left hand holding the ankle. Left knee is as straight as possible as the nose comes towards the knee, right toes up. On your exhale, let's place those feet down next to each other. Cross those forearms, hold your opposite calf, chin in your chest, and start to straighten those legs best you can. All the while taking those deep breaths through your nose. As you release, let's glance up, lift the tailbone, and reverse swan dive up. Standing back bend. Good, you're going to take that right arm down, keeping those feet together. 
left fingertips reach up as those right fingertips walk down your leg. Right hand's gonna hold the wrist, gently pull and just rest your head to the right. Now try to shift your weight to the left foot, pressing that left foot down into the mat. Inhale, same side, continue to press the left foot down. Good, we're gonna come to the front of the mat, standing back foot, and look past your fingertips, come on down. Lance up, lift the tailbone, lunge back one foot, and then the other. In your plank, your chest leads, you don't wanna sag the hips, but knees down when you need to, come on down. Up dog, nice open chest. Push up or not, and then come to down dog. And let's take turns pedaling those feet, then one knee and then the other. Nice calf stretch. And let's reach our left toes up towards the ceiling. Walk those hands back. Nose towards your right knee, left toes reach as high as possible. Gently swing that left leg through. That left knee is right above the ankle. Let's float the chest up. So let's tuck the pelvis under, get that good right hip flexor stretch, leaning back. Hands clasp at your low back, chin in your chest. Gently pull those shoulder blades down as you pull the arms straight. And glance over your left shoulder as you rotate. Both arms shoulder height, right arm is in front. And let's bring those arms up, really lean back into that crescent lunge, tucking the pelvis under. And let's gently bring that right knee down to the mat. Continuing to sink that right hip flexor forward. Let's straighten the arms, chin in your chest, shoulders down. Deep cleansing breaths. Now let's bring those arms up. Really sink forward onto that right hip flexor. Lean the arms back. And let's bring those hands down. Left knee to the mat. Nice cat stretch. And then glance to the ceiling. And let's take the left wrist directly under the shoulder and extend that left leg out. Abs are engaged, extend your right arm out as you reach. That right arm is gonna come out to the right. Left foot flexes and we're gonna take that left leg a little bit to the left using the left side of your obliques. Keeping that breath deep, let's reach down the middle nice and long. And then hand and knee down, let's push that left heel towards the mat for a left calf stretch. Good, bring those knees down, let's sit our hips left and left hand on top of the right. Good, gently untwist. And let's come up to those knees. Let's do a range of motion exercise for that left shoulder. So left thumb leads as you bring the arm up to the shoulder height. Flip it around and let your pinky lead and reach as far back as you can. Your pinky leads as you bring it up. When you can't go any farther, you flip it around and that thumb leads. Do that one more time. That left thumb leads to bring it up. Flip it around. The left pinky leads. Reach as far back as you can. Left pinky leads as you bring it up as high as you can. And then flip it around and the thumb leads. Come on down to your plank. Abs lifted. Middle of the chest leads as you come down. Hugging the side. Up dog. 
Push up if you choose it and down dog. Shift the weight out of the heel of the hand more towards the knuckles. Lift those hips and allow the head to sink down as your feet are relaxed. On your exhale, let's walk or softly jump those feet to your hands. Fingertips stay down and we're going to reach the left toes up to the ceiling. Walk in those hands towards your right foot. Nose towards that right knee. Left toes reach way up. You could hold the right ankle with your right hand, but you don't have to. And you're straightening that right leg as best you can. On your exhale, let's place those feet together. And let's hug those thighs. Hold on to your opposite elbow, chin in your chest. Start to straighten those legs the best that you can. Deep breaths. Exhale, release those hands. Glance up and reverse swan dive up. Standing back bend. Good, let's bring that left arm down. Let's keep our feet together. As your right arm reaches, left fingertips are gonna walk down your leg. And then that left hand's gonna grab the wrist gently, pulling that right arm straight and resting your head to the left. Now shift your weight to the right foot, pressing that right foot down. Deep breath in. Exhale that little bit deeper, continuing to press that right foot into the mat. Good, let's open it up in the mountain. And let's bring those feet as far apart as you would like. Bend your knees a little bit if you want to, and let's walk those hands down to the mat. Separating those feet, chin in your chest, sink that head down. So just stay there and take a couple breaths. And let's take our first two fingers, make a hook with your big toes. Let's glance up gently, chest forward, tailbone back, and then just bend the elbows and allow the head to sink towards the mat. Keep those breaths as deep as you can. Each exhale is your opportunity to deepen that stretch. On your exhale, see if those feet want to slide any farther apart. Fingertips face away from you, walk behind you. Bend those elbows and allow the head to sink down. Legs are as straight as you feel comfortable. Continuing to breathe, place the palms down on the mat in front of you. Bend your elbows and sink your forearms and head towards the mat. Use each and every exhale to deepen that stretch a little bit. Straightening those legs the best you can. End of your exhale. Let's walk those hands up towards the front of the mat. Doesn't matter what leg's in front. You're going to bring that leg back so you're in your plank. On your knees or your toes, depending on how you're feeling today. Hug the sides with the elbows as you come down. Nice up dog, lifting that head. And push up if you choose and down dog. Big deep breaths. Make sure the weight's shifted and evened out somewhere towards the middle of the hand. Lift those hips and relax your feet. 
Good, you're gonna reach your right toes up to the ceiling. You're gonna walk your hands back a little bit, nose towards that left knee, right toes way up. And then gently, you're gonna swing that leg through. Right knee is bent, and you're gonna turn your left foot flat as we float the chest off of that right thigh. Warrior one on the right side. Good, on your exhale, you're gonna open it up into warrior two. That right arm is in front. I want you to find the tip of your right middle finger and that's your focal point as you bend that right knee deep Open up the right knee, try to not let it collapse towards the middle. Good, you're gonna bring your right arm to your right thigh and that left arm is up. As you're breathing, you're gonna slide that right hand down the inside of the foot. You're welcome to keep it here on the thigh if you prefer. Press your right knee and shoulder into each other and let's rotate that left arm a little farther behind you. Now slide your left hand to your low back, the back of your left hand, and walk those fingertips down towards the right side of your waist, trying to roll this left shoulder open. If you want to, your right fingers can reach through to grab those left fingers. If that's too much, Stay right here. Remember, this is not a competition. Doing what feels good for your body today. Right hand's gonna go back on the floor, left arm up. And that strong right thigh is gonna bring us back to warrior two. Bend that right knee deep and take a breath. Reverse warrior, left hand, left thigh. Gently pull the right side of the rib cage away from the hip bone. Slowly back to warrior two. And we're gonna bring the hands down to the mat. And you're gonna bring your left knee down to the mat. We're gonna shift our weight back and we can slide our right leg a little farther forward. We can slide our left knee a little farther back. All this is up to you. Hands walk up towards that right foot. Start to bend your elbows, sinking the chest towards your right thigh. So feel that nice lengthening down the right hamstring. As your left quadricep sink, sinks towards the mat. Each exhale, release a little bit more tightness down that right hamstring. Two more breaths. And then you're gonna slowly walk it back a little bit. Place that right foot on the mat and hands on the inside of the foot. So this right knee is bent, and we're gonna walk our right foot to the right, sinking that left quadricep down. Now feel free to start to bend the elbows. Feel free to come to the forearms or stay on your palms, it's all up to you. Chin in your chest. I want you to take a deep breath into the tightness that you feel. And exhale, really release it. Good, end of that exhale, dissolving that tightness. Let's place the palms on the mat. Let's place that right knee on the mat. And with the right wrist directly under the shoulder, you're gonna go ahead and bring that right foot in the air. And that left hand is gonna reach around to grab it. Let's take the right foot towards the ceiling, press the top of the foot away. Lift yourself out of that right shoulder as you breathe. 
Inhale, really lift. Exhale, let's extend out and reach. And hand and knee down, knees apart, big toes together. Look up to your right and rotate your wrist. And then right hand, palm up underneath the left, rest on the right side of the face. Take your left fingertips, walk them in front of you first. And exhale, take the back of your left hand at your low back and allow that left shoulder just to fly. Exhale completely each and every time. Good, slowly untwisting. Come up to those hands and knees. Take a nice cat stretch. Glance up. And you're gonna come back to your plank, that upper push-up position. Abs are strong. I want you to come down nice and slow. Up dog, open that chest. Feel free to do a push up if you want to, and then down dog. Fingertips spread apart. Let your head and chest sink between those shoulders as the hips lift. Good, left toes are gonna to reach up. Let's walk those hands back. Nose towards that right knee, left toes reach nice and high. And gently let's swing that left leg through. That left knee is right above the ankle and that right foot turns flat. Abs strong, let's float the chest off of that left thigh. Tuck the pelvis under. Bend that left knee and breathe. Warrior one. Very slowly opening it up. Left arm is in front for warrior two. Spread your feet a little farther apart if you want to. Use that left inner thigh to open that left knee up. Good, on your exhale, left arm, left thigh. That right arm is up. And let's slide the left hand down the inside of the foot. Feel free to keep it on the thigh if you prefer. Let's press that left knee into that left shoulder and right arm comes behind you. Now slide that right hand down the, the, the low back, the back of the hand at the low back and inch those fingertips down towards the left side of your waist. If you want to, that left hand can reach around to grab those fingers. If that's too much, keep it right here. Remember, this is what's best for you today. Rolling that right shoulder open, left knee stays bent. Let's go ahead and place that left hand back down. Reach that right arm up and as you twist open that strong left thigh, Brings us back to warrior two, bending that left knee. Reverse warrior. Gently, the left side of the rib cage pulls away from the hip bone. Good, slowly back to warrior two. And let's go ahead and place those palms on the mat. Your right knee on the mat. And you're going to shift your weight back. The left leg is gonna slide straight forward. Try to not have it at an angle. So just straight in front of you. Right knee comes behind you, only to the point where it's comfortable for you. Hands could walk towards your left foot, left foot relaxed. Exhale, bend those elbows and breathe. Right quadricep is sinking towards the mat. Nice lengthening down that left hamstring. Exhale completely each and every time. Using that breath to dissolve tightness and tension.
end of your exhale, slowly walk the hands back. And let's place that left foot on the mat and walk it to your left with the hands on the inside of the foot. So taking the right quadriceps, sinking it down, left knee is right above the ankle. Let's bend those elbows. Coming down to those forearms if you want. Remember it's your option. Chin in your chest and breathe. Melting any tightness away as you breathe. Good, at the end of that exhale, let's go ahead and bring those palms to the mat. And let's bring that left knee to the mat. Give yourself a nice cat stretch. Glancing to the ceiling. And with that left wrist directly under the left shoulder, let's bring that left foot into the air. And let's take the right hand, reach it around and grab it. Let's take the left foot towards the ceiling, lift yourself out of that left shoulder. Take the top of your left foot and press it away from you. Deep breaths. Inhale, lift. Exhale, extend out briefly. Hand and knee down. Knees apart, big toes together. Glance up to your left and rotate your wrist. And then left hand, palm up underneath the right. Rest on the left side of the face. Let's take your right fingertips, walk them away from you. Exhale, back of the right hand to your low back. With that right shoulder just blocked. And slowly untwist. And let's go ahead and come to that plank, your upper push-up position. Abs are nice and strong. Hug the sides, come on down. Nice up dog. Push up if you choose and down dog. Let's take our right toes up to the ceiling. And walk our hands back a little bit, bending your right knee, allowing it to hang to the left. Opening up that right hip. Feeling that great stretch down the right side of the rib cage. And on the exhale for pigeons, sliding that right, hand, right knee between your hands. Let's take our left toes, tuck the toes under, walk that leg back. Open your chest and you can even take your right foot and walk it towards the left hand as long as you're not going to roll to the right. Bring the hands to the left of the foot a little bit or left of the knee a little bit. Walk those hands out. Forehead rests. Take some deep breaths. Dissolve that tightness around the outside of that right hip joint. Feel free to glance to your right, resting on the left side of the face. And slide that right hand to the low back. Let your shoulders relax, deep breath. Just let that tightness go. Untwist slowly. Let's glance forward, let our left fingertips walk a little farther to help that left hip bone roll back to the mat. Forehead down, two more breaths. Very slowly 
walk it back, opening the chest and sliding your right knee back. Nice cat stretch. Glancing up. And let's come to your last plank of today. Chest leading, abs are strong, come on down. Nice up dog. Push up or not, and down dog. Take our left toes up to the ceiling. Walk those hands back a little bit. Bend your left knee and allow it to hang to the right. Opening up the left hip and nice stretch down the left side of the rib cage. On your exhale, let's slide the left knee between our hands for pigeon. Right toes tuck under. We're going to walk that leg back. Walk your left foot towards your right hand, but not to the point where it's going to make you roll to the left. Hands to the right of your knee, and let's walk those hands out. Rest your forehead. Take a deep breath into the tightness around that left hip joint. Exhale, dissolving that tightness. If you'd like, you can glance to your left, resting on the right side of the face. Sliding your left hand to your low back if you want as well. Shoulders relax. Exhale completely and really let some of that tension dissolve. Big exhale, when you're ready, you can untwist. Let's glance forward and take your right fingertips a little farther away, rolling that right hip bone towards the mat. Big exhale, we're gonna go ahead and walk those hands back. Open our chest, slide that left knee back. And have a seat at the front of the mat. So we're going to make sure and have that strap next to us so you can use it once you lay down. And we're going to take our shoulders away from those ears. Come into one boat pose. So reach those arms up, keep your chest open, abs are engaged. One leg up or both, that's up to you. Lifting those toes up towards the ceiling. And come on back. Hug those knees into your chest, shoulders are down. Little circles massage that low back. Gently in both directions. As you take that left leg straight out and the right foot comes into the strap. Strap moves towards your heel, foot is relaxed. Gently pull the leg towards you and take the right knee, press it away from you. Big breaths. As you back away, Moving the strap towards the ball of your foot. Get a good flex and as the leg pulls towards you, take one side of that strap and either roll the foot out or in. See which one deepens your calf stretch. Relax. Take the strap in your right hand. Bring it out to the right as you glance left. We make sure that that left hip is going to stay rolled to the mat. Gently pull with your right hand. Deep breaths. And 
and let's hand the strap to your left hand. Take it across the body as you glance to your right. And gentle pull, right IT band stretch. Slowly roll to that low back. Let's place both feet in the strap. Gently pull the legs towards you. You can lift those hips a little bit off the mat. And release. Right leg flat on the mat. And that strap goes towards your left heel. Foot is relaxed. Gently pull it in and press that left knee gently away from you. As you exhale, it's back away, moving the strap towards the ball of your foot. Get a good flex, and as you pull the leg towards you, feel free to roll that foot out or in, whichever one deepens your calf stretch. And release. Let's take the strap with your left hand, take it out to the left as you glance to your right. Keeping that right hip rolled down to the mat, gently pull with your left hand. That belly lifts as you inhale and lowers as you exhale. As we hand that strap to your right hand, taking it across and glancing left, gentle pull. Straight down your left IT band. Good, let's place that strap down. Lengthen our body from fingertips to toes as long as you can make yourself. Exhale, slide those hands down towards your sides, palms up. Eyes closed and letting those feet just flop out naturally. You've made it to your last pose, total resting pose. Let's use these last few minutes to just release any tension or stress that you might still be holding on to. Use this time to let it go so you can have the best day possible. Let's pull all the breath to the very top of the head. And as you exhale, feel that breath flow across your forehead. Stream across your temples and roll across the back of your head. Across your eyes nose and cheekbones, feeling the breath flow across the back of your jaw, straight down the sides and back of your neck, rolling across the top of your shoulders, allowing your chest to open up. Release across your upper back. Feeling that breath rolling down your arms. Rounding your elbows. Straight down your forearms. To your wrists. Palms and the top of your hands between your fingers and all the way to your fingertips. Exhale, just move the fingers gently, letting tension and stress leave the body through your fingertips. Feeling breath rolling across one rib at a time to surround the rib cage. Rolling from your mid back down to the small of your back and across your waist and your abdominals 
a deep breath into the hips and glutes. Exhale, relax those hips and glutes. Along with those quadriceps and hamstrings. Knees, shins and calves. Ankles. As you exhale and feel that breath rounding your heels and rolling up the arch of your foot. Across the top of the foot. Between your toes. All the way to your toe tips. You exhale and just move those toes gently. Bring tension and stress. Lead the body through your toe tips. Feeling peaceful. A nice calm energy surrounding you. Picturing your day, bringing this peace and calm with you. and watching it become contagious to all those that you have interactions with. You're ready for your day. Let's be nice to ourselves coming out of this position slowly, placing one foot on the mat and then the other. And then as you're ready, just rolling to one side gently. And pressing yourself up when you're ready to a nice sitting position. A nice deep breath in. Exhale, bringing your hands to your heart. Let's surrender everything in our head to our hearts. Have an awesome day. Thank you for joining me for yoga. Namaste.